very special guest for us all here. He is a, a legend in our industry. Um, he is Mr. Entero, as far as uh, Southern California is concerned, and, and maybe even Northern California, if I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, misspeak. But Danny has been in the industry for a very, very long time. He took it upon himself as a personal favor to come to us, to come speak to you guys about his seven-figure uh, business plan. And listen, he is responsible for not millions, but billions of dollars in real estate sales here in California, right? And he leads a huge, huge army of, of people within his organization. And so I, I'm very, very lucky that he took the time out of his schedule to come out here and really, really speak to us. So can you guys please give me a good, loud, and warm welcome for Mr. Danny Morell. Yes. If you want to help, that would be great. Hey, give it up for Paul, everybody. <laughs> Broker, helper, right, motivator. Oh, that's the How are you guys doing today? Great. I want to get to know you guys a little bit, please, so that I know who I'm speaking to. Who's in the real estate business five years or newer? Raise your hands. Five years or newer. Okay, good. How about five years or more? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so here's what I want to get started with real fast. I'm a believer in intentions. Say intention. intention. You know what that word means? What does it mean, intention? What's the meaning? That you're willing to do something. Yeah, that like you're willing to do something or there's something that you want to achieve, right? So what I want you to write down, it, somewhere on your piece of paper, please, is for 2018. For 2018, what is your intention and I'm gonna narrow it down, because how many of you guys realize that sometimes us as human beings, we have a hard time really defining what it is that we really, really, really want. We're very uh, non-specific people. We have very broad desires. Anybody know what I'm talking about, yes or no? Like has anybody ever heard anybody say, you know, to the question, what do you want from your life? And they say, I wanna be financially free. That's very broad, like what does that mean, financially free? Right? Or if somebody will say, I want to sell a lot of houses. How many houses? Or I want to go on a vacation. Where do you want to go? How do you want to fly? What kind of clothes do you want to wear? What, what, what hotel do you want to stay in? Or I'd like to get a new car. Which one? Which model? Does this make sense, guys? Yeah. And I really, really fi have found out by coaching a lot of people that the more specific we get with our intentions, the better off that we'll be. So I'm gonna ask you one question, and I just no hesitation, no doubt, no fear, no worry, no what does my neighbor say, no what did my mom talk, t tell me about what was possible. Just give me a damn number, is that cool? What is your intention for closed units for 2018? Write it 40. down, go. Okay. Oh good, we got some, we got some, <laughs> some lionesses in here, I like that. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. What, what's the intention? Just write down the number real fast. Okay? Because here's what we're gonna talk about today. The title of my talk is Six Keys to a Seven Figure Business. But really, really, what the talk is about, it's about how to ensure without a shadow of a doubt that you hit that intention. <coughs> if you hit that intention, will your life change, yes or no? Yes. yes or no? Yes. Okay, how will it change? Who give me an example? If you hit that intention, how will your life change? Somebody tell me. Vacations. Okay, more vacations. Okay, good. Who else? Yes. You'll feel more capable of doing everything else. You'll feel more capable. You see, she's, she's bright. You'll feel more capable that you can do anything that you set your mind to, basically. Which, how many of you guys realize that that is more important than the money that comes from when you hit the intention? Everybody write this down. Write down the word story. Story. I wasn't expecting this, so we're, this is a whole different talk. <laughs> um, it's such an important word because I genuinely believe that us as human beings, we have a story in our head about what we feel is possible, impossible, about what we feel about ourselves, about the way that we see ourselves. I was literally just driving over here and I was talking to a, I was listening to a podcast talking about self-love, self-love, right? And how, how so many of us, whether you're rich or poor, tall or short, fat or skinny, white or dark or Hispanic or Philip or whatever, everybody has issues with this thing called self-love. 
Who would agree? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we, we all do, right? Because why? Because society has taught us to do the opposite of self-love. They're trying to show us all the time what's wrong with us, you know? And I think that the clearer you get with the fact that priority number one is loving yourself. Like thinking that you're special, thinking that you're amazing. Guess what comes next? Thinking that you're unstoppable. Because I could tell you, you can make six figures. I could tell you, you can make seven figures. I can tell you right now, I can pretty much guarantee that you can do that. But if you don't believe it, guess what it does? Zip, zip. Make sense? Yeah. And so we have to deal with the story that is going on in our heads, guys. We really, really do. Because I know this for a fact. This may make you extremely uncomfortable. I'm kind of an extremely uncomfortable kind of guy. Because if I don't punch you in the mouth with the truth, guess what? This is just another little motivational talk. And I wasted my time and you wasted your time. And we both could be doing better things, yes or no? If I'm here, it's because I genuinely want to help you guys grow. The reason why that story is so important, guys, is because the story dictates your beliefs, and your beliefs dictate your actions, and your actions dictate your results. Write that down. The story dictates your beliefs. Your beliefs dictate your actions. And your actions dictate your results. And here's why that's so important, guys. Are we doing great right now? Yeah. We did $987 million in sales last year. He just said, holy shit, with his eyes. <laughs> he didn't even say it, but he said it, right? That's a lot of sales. Especially coming from a little poor boy who was on welfare living in the city of Rialto, California in a two-bedroom apartment. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's quite a bit. <clears throat> but there was a time in my life recently, just eight years ago, where things weren't that good. And I'll tell you how this story ended up helping me. And you could just click, yeah. See those little boys? Who's seen this picture before? If you follow me anywhere, you've seen this picture before. Okay, if you're not following me, grab your phones real fast. <laughs> Go to Instagram, because I'm gonna help you. This is free help. Go to Instagram, and at some point in time in this talk, just follow Danny Morell. Every day I'm bringing you with something to get your mind right, to get you focused, okay? Well, this was eight years ago, guys. This was a moment where I had created a story in my head that caused me to be depressed, that caused me to be down and out, that really, quite honestly, caused me to be in a state in my life where I couldn't even get out of bed. It was really, really rough. You see, just three years prior, I was living in this beautiful big home with a beautiful swimming pool. And now I've got two beautiful boys, and that's their swimming pool. That day was so hot. It was 110 degrees out in Rancho Cucamonga that I didn't know how to cool them down. And at the time, what happened was that the AC broke and I was so broke that I couldn't afford to fix it. So I just grabbed an ice chest, it was just the only thing I could think to do, and I filled it with water. And that's the moment that my life changed forever. That's the moment that I decided, you know what, hold on a second. I gotta start talking to myself differently because I'm having a hard time getting out of bed. I'm having a hard time getting inspired. I don't see a very bright future. I'm just doing the same thing that I do over and over and over again. I'm not getting the results that I, wrong, that, I, that, I, that I want. Come on, and as a result, guess who's suffering? They're suffering. They're suffering. See, one thing we don't realize, guys, is that when we're playing the game in mediocre fashion, it's one thing for you to suffer. That's great, no problem, that's on you. But when your family is suffering because they're trusting you to go out and perform, that's when at some point in time we gotta wake up and we gotta say, hold on a second, time out. I know I'm meant for more than this. I know I can provide more than this. I know that what I do every single day can amount to more results. So there's something wrong, I just gotta learn a way to fix it. Now how many of you guys know that it's one thing to figure out and admit there's something wrong, and then it's a whole other thing to fix it? Who would agree? Like these are two big issues, right? Well, nothing changes unless nothing changes, and in that moment when I took that picture, I took a st step back and I said, okay, there's something seriously wrong here if my kids are swimming in a freaking ice chest. And that's where my journey began, guys. That's where I, I will humbly admit to you guys, I went from being depressed and broken financially, spiritually, emotionally, to really starting to do things step by step in a way to help me accomplish my goals. That was eight years ago. We started with scratch. Last year we did 987 million in sales. This year I know we'll do over a billion. 
So I'm just going to share with you guys in the next 30 minutes or so my journey, how it helped me, how it helped me change my life, and hopefully how it can help you do the same. Is that fair? Yeah. Yes. Do I have your attention now? Yes. All right, good. Now I have your attention. So let's go to the first point. Number one, these are the six key figures to a seven-figure empire. The first point, write this down. All of you can help me, please. Thank you. Make inner growth your top priority. Just write that down. Make inner growth your top priority. Did I say make money your top priority? No. no. That's where we get it twisted, guys. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about how many of us are wired to sell enough to make an income. Be honest, this is human beings 101. Let's just be honest. The way we see things and the way we do things is, okay, it costs me 5,000 a month to live, and so if I can go out and I can close this escrow, then that means I'll have enough to live for, for three months. And then, you know, I don't know this about myself, but since I know in my mind that I have enough to live for three months, then I slowly stop showing up for the meetings. I stop showing up to work. I start spending all of my money. My ego gets inflated. And then guess what happens? Not in three months, in about two months, what do I say? Oh shit, something's wrong. And then I go back to work and do it all over again. And that's what causes this vicious cycle in real estate sales. And by the way, I know for some of you, you go, nah, uh nah, uh It's not one every three months. Okay, so what is it? Two, three, four? The problem never changes if you don't deal with the underlying issue. And the underlying issue is that we are wired to be income builders. Write that down. Income builders. How many of you had a job before getting into real estate? All of us. Yeah, practically all of us. And so you decide to get into real estate and you decide to start selling houses and the way you relate to it, the story you put in your head from the very beginning is what? Okay, if I'm gonna leave my job and I'm gonna risk, then that means that I need to sell enough houses to make sure that I'm okay to cover what I used to make. And then what happens is you get into real estate and you sell enough and you go, hey, wait a minute, like. I sell one house and I make what I used to make in three months. Who knows what I'm talking about? Say yes, please. Yeah, this yeah. is reality. And so then we formulate the story in our head about what we should fight for, what we should earn, who we should become, solely based off the fact that it used to take us 50K a year to live, and now we're making 200K a year. We've arrived. Life is good. And that's where we get stuck. As an industry, we're so stuck, it's sad. Because you see, I like to think a little different. I like to think of our real estate license as a lottery ticket that hasn't been cashed. I like to think at living as living in these United States of America, the greatest country on planet Earth, as a blank check. And the problem is every single one of us are walking around with a blank check and we're just literally cutting off the corners and we're living off the corners of that blank check. I was too. How could you explain it? How could you explain being in the industry that we're in and living in this beautiful country and me not being able to afford a pool for my kids? I'm telling you, because I was living there too. And the first thing that I did, guys, honest to God, is I made inner growth my top priority. If you can make inner growth your top priority, if inner growth becomes more important to you than money, that's when you will finally start living in your God-given destiny. All the humans walking around, they're focused on one thing, money. The ones that make the money, that's what they're focused on, inner development, inner growth. If you work on inside, if you take this serious, and if you have questions ask, after, I'll, I'll answer how to start that process, but if you take this serious, then all of a sudden, guess what starts happening? Your outer world becomes a reflection of your inner world. There used to be a lot more of me. My face was like this. I used to weigh about 195 pounds. Right now I'm about 175, 174. And you know what I started to realize? I started to realize that the reason why in my outer world I looked like this is because there was a story going on in my inner world. True story. I just had the story that all Hispanics were fat. <laughs> I 
just, I did. I mean, and Hispanics do not know what we're talking about. Look at all of our family members. Are they the most healthiest people in the world? No, because what do we eat? Rice, beans, and tortillas. <laughs> Every single meal, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, how many times a day? Two to three or four or seven or however your heart feels. As a matter of fact, I remember, God bless her, I love my abuelita, but I would go into my grandmother's house, and if I ever got too skinny, what do they say? I know, pero te me estás poniendo muy flaco. <laughs> like, let me feed you. Something's wrong. <laughs> Who knows what I'm talking about? This is truth. And so I almost started to feel guilty because I was like losing weight. And so this formulated the story. And once I dealt with the story, what happens? I started working inside to develop a new story. Guess what my new story was? It's a story most people don't think. I'm going to give it to you. Maybe you might want to make it your own. You guys ready? Yeah. I will live to be 100. That's my new story. Now, I know what the ego says. The ego says, ah, no, but everybody's dying like at 75 right now, and there's like cancer and stuff, and there's all of this stuff, and you can be hit by a car. That's your story. Don't put your story on me. I have a different story. But doesn't business work that way? Don't you get really, really excited about a goal or about something you're going to accomplish? And God forbid you bring that goal home. And sometimes the people that love you the most and that you love the most, what do they say? Ah, no, that's not possible. Come. And what do we do? We just absorb that story. All we are, all you and I are, are a series of thoughts that have been accumulated year after year after year after year that we have learned to buy into. And until we make our inner growth the top priority, guess what will happen? Outer growth won't happen. The outer world that we live is a reflection of the inner world that we experience. Point number two. You gotta be the enemy of average. You gotta be the enemy of average. Paul, you're gonna love this. Do you guys have a sales board here? On that side. On that side? Okay, do you guys know where the sales board is? No? Okay, I'm gonna, can I change your life forever? Write this down. The sales board equals life. The sales board equals life. Well, what do you mean, Danny? I mean, that sales board is your life. You mean like literally my life? I, literally, that's your life. See, my first year in business, I sold 28 houses. First year. I didn't know the contracts. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know anything. But at that time, I knew what my goal was and my, what my vision was. And I remember I was a bit obnoxious back then. You can imagine, I would stand in front of the sales board, and I would stand in front of the sales board, and I would go, oh, yep, yep, I own this board. And all the other agents would walk by. Here I was, like 19 years old. Like, who the hell am I, right? They would walk by, and I would go, excuse me, but this is my board. You can't look at it. Excuse me, keep going. Right? And the broker would get complaints. And I just had the audacity to look the broker in the eye and say, listen, I'm going to be your number one salesperson. So it doesn't really matter to me what they say because I'm going to win at that board. Ten years later, when I bought my franchise, I called the franchisee. I called Intero up north. Ask Gino Blafari. You know Gino. He's the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Ask him. Ask him if I'm lying. I called him and I said, listen to me. I'm dead broke right now, but I will promise you this. I will be the number one franchise owner in less than three years. Sure enough, what do you think happened in 36 months? We were the number one franchise owner. Why? Because the sales board is your life. Guys, you gotta start taking that sales board more seriously. You really, really do. You can't be at the bottom of it. You can't, you can't allow yourself to do that. You have to push to be at the top. You have to desire to be at the top. Not in a bad way, by the way, bring people with you. I honestly believe that. There's a saying that says, uh, be the light you wish to see in the world. Something magical happens when you decide to step out of your box and when you decide to start living in your fullest potential. Guess what happens to the people around you? They start deciding to do the same thing too. They really, really do. And I think it's a beautiful thing, by the way, that you guys have leaders that care enough about you to put these types of trainings on for you. 
I think you should kind of give back to them by proving to them what is capable for you and what you are capable of as a result of the, the, of the trainings that they put, put out for you. But that will never happen until you start respecting that sales board a little bit more. You've got to respect that sales board. Why? Write this down. Because the way you do anything is the way you do everything. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. See, when I was 25 pounds heavier or whatever it was, did I respect my body as much as I do now? Yes or no? no. Yes or no? No. Well, if you don't respect your body, how will you respect your time? If you don't respect your time, how will you increase your sales? If you don't respect your sales, why would you respect the sales board? Literally, people, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. The way you take care of yourself, the way you are about your word, the way you take care of your clients, the fact that they can trust you or not, the fact that you're dependable, the fact that you will you will uh, um, stick up for your word and keep your word regardless of the cost. All of those things matter because shady people show up all the time. There's a saying that says, you know, you, uh, a, a person, you find out who a person really is when they, when they win the lotto, like the real self. And here's what that means. It means that a jerk is gonna be more of a jerk when they have money. And a nice person is going to be a nicer person when they have it. Why is that leaderboard and that sales board so important? Because for people who are the enemy of average, they thrive on that sales board. People, I know some of you are uncomfortable with what I'm about to say. You've got to want to win a little bit more in life. And I know nowadays they give away participation trophies and all of that stuff. But I'm going to tell you, that's ruining us as a society. You've got to want to win. Because guess why? It's easy to lose. It's easy. Winning requires something. Winning requires you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, get your ass up. Go do what you said you were going to do. Go make promises. Go keep those promises. Starting with yourself. When you're the enemy of average, you just keep small promises. What's a small promise? I'm gonna wake up every day and go to the gym. That's a small promise. Be honest, I don't care what's going on in your day. Who could keep that small promise? Raise your hands. Yeah, we, we could, you could keep that promise if you really wanted to, right? What's a small promise? I'm gonna get to the office by a certain amount of time, by a certain time in the morning. Be honest, who could keep that small promise? Yeah, yeah, every, you could keep that small promise, right? Okay, now let's make it a little bit tougher. Be honest, who could keep this promise? I'm gonna make phone calls two hours a day, every day. Who could? Yeah, but look, it's a little tougher, but look at what happens. You build into it. If you could keep the smaller promises, then your brain starts believing that you just are a guy or a gal that keeps promises. That's why I fight so hard. Every morning you see me on Instagram, every single day by 5.30, I'm posting a picture and I'm reminding you. I'm reminding you why. Because I know how important waking up early and going to the gym is so important. It's so important to you because it's a trigger. It's a trigger that triggers everything else in your day. But you won't do it if you're okay with average. Only people who are the enemy of average will put out promises and keep those promises. Point number three. Be clear with who you are. Oh, write this down. Be clear with who you are. Be clear with who you are. I remember my first year in the business. Who remembers their first year in the business? First year in the business? I remember the first year in the business. I gave myself a crazy goal. I was going to buy my mom a house by the time I was 21 years old. We lived in, you guys ever been to Rialto, California? Yeah, don't go back. Don't go back. <laughs> There's a street in Rialto called Lilac and Jackson. It's right by a high school called Eisenhower High School. Crime infested, very, very bad. That's exactly where I live. And so I wanted to get us out of there. 
my dad wasn't around. My parents were divorced. My mother, God bless her, she's just she was a four foot two little Hispanic woman, just very quiet, very to herself, very reserved. And I just looked around and I said, okay, it's either we're gonna stay stuck here forever or somebody's gotta do something. So I said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it in two years, right? And so I had to find my way. Because I knew I wasn't experienced as everybody else was. So I had to be clear with who I was and I had to love myself enough and trust myself enough to believe that who I was in that moment was enough. Write that one down, please. Who you are is enough. That's foundational, foundational. And so you see, I see a lot of newer people in the business. Who's newer, a little bit newer? Yeah, so you know, when you're new, you're a little nervous. Rightfully so because you're doing something that everybody else has done before and you don't know what you don't know, you don't know what to say, you don't know, you don't know anything. And so you start focusing on what? The wrong story. You start focusing on everything that's wrong instead of focusing on everything that's right. Mm -hmm. So can I show you how I, I, I switched this up? Because this is how I did it, honest to God, honest to God, there was a guy who got the license with me the same day. I sold 28 houses, he sold four. To this day, our careers took a drastic change. Why? I just learned to play a different story. Okay, follow me. If you ask the wrong questions, you get the wrong answers. If you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers. So you see, I wasn't that experience. I didn't have a team. I didn't have a lot of money. I was dead broke, like I couldn't even afford gas when I first got started. But I got clear with who I am. And I asked myself this question, and I want you all to write it down. Number one. Am I honest? Am I honest? I mean, I think you can tell right now, I'm kind of brutally honest, yes or no. Like, I'll tell it, and then if you don't like it, it's kind of your problem, not mine. That's my style. Well, that's how I was when I was 19 years old. I was brutally honest. If I were to go on a buyer appointment and the buyer wanted to write an offer less than full price, I would just tell them. I'm sorry, you're not going to get it. So why waste our time? <laughs> if I went on a listing appointment, true story, true story. If I went on a listing appointment, I didn't do that many of them that first year, but if I went on a listing appointment and they wanted to list it too high, I would say, I'm sorry, the house is just gonna sit here. I got really clear with who I am, and I'm an honest person. And I think that an honest person in today's business world can win and win big. Number two, ask yourself this question. Do you have integrity? Now for you shysters out there in the room, I know you're already screwed, but that's okay. Let's just pretend, pretend we have some integrity, right? I knew I had integrity. I, I, I knew that people can count on me. I knew that if, that if I said something, I was gonna do it. I knew, Paul, that if I set up an appointment for five o'clock, I would be there at five o'clock. I, I knew those things about myself. By the way, real fast, are you honest, yes or no? Yes. Do you have integrity, yes or no? Yes. yes. Can I ask you guys a question? Isn't that a lot better than what you see out there with these real estate agents nowadays? Yes. Isn't that enough? Yeah. See, I just built that story. I just built, man, if I could just be really, really honest, and I think if I could just be filled with integrity, I will win. I don't have to be new, or I don't have to be experienced at this. I can win. Here was the third question. Will I work hard for people? Will I work hard for people? Like if they gave me a shot, if they gave me a shot, Paul, will I work hard for people? Will you work hard for people? Yes. Yeah, if given a shot, will you do it? Yeah, like you'll, you'll show up, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll, yeah, of course, right? Of course. Number four, will I get the job done? Will I get the job done? Honest to God, guys, the craziest thing happened. I just started asking myself the right questions. <clears throat> hey, man, look yourself in the mirror. Are you honest? Whoa, 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 hold on. You're not? Then deal with it. <clears throat> see, 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 that's what powerful people do. Powerful people are honest with themselves first. You can't be honest with anybody else if you're not honest with yourself first. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, that's okay, right? But deal with it. Deal with it. How do you expect to be disciplined? 
How do you expect to be motivated? How do you expect to be inspired? How do you expect to show up every day if you can't even be honest with yourself? Number two, do I have integrity? If you don't, you need to fix it. Because people find out. They find out. I'll never forget the first remodel that I did. I put on the flyer, completely remodeled. This is an honest to God, true story. Completely remodeled. Right? It was my first house. I bought it, I flipped it, you know, whatever. Completely remodeled. Okay, the buyer came in, did an open house. We went into escrow, blah, 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 blah. What happened? Two weeks into escrow, the buyer goes, hey, um, when are the new windows going up? What new windows? The, the new windows. We didn't say any new windows. The buyer goes, oh, no, yes, you did. It says it right here, completely remodeled. <laughs> Guess how much the new windows were going to cost me? It doesn't matter. More than your commission. It doesn't matter. Can I tell you why? Because when you have real integrity, it doesn't matter what the cost is. Can we be honest? What do most real estate professionals do in that case? World War II. <laughs> Drama, energy wasted, time wasted for what? For absolutely nothing. Why do you think we have such a hard time buying the best equipment for ourselves? Why do you think we have such a hard time when we're growing uh, getting an assistant for ourselves? Because psychologically speaking, we have this battle with money. And when it comes between money and doing what's right, we pick money. And we're all messed up. You see, if you could answer yes to those four questions, honest to God, is that enough, yes or no? The answer is, it's whatever you think it is. It's whatever you think it is. I just happen to believe that's enough. That's, that's enough. I could ride that to the bank. Close 28 deals that year my first year. You know how many realtors I meet that have been in the business 20 years that still to this day have not closed 28 deals? I got that out of the way the first year. There was bigger fish to fry. Next. Be clear with who you're not. Be clear with who you're not. Be clear with who you're not. And I know some of you guys are thinking, well, wait a minute. How many, how do I get leads? Where do I get leads from? Where do I? This is the magic. This is the stuff that makes millionaires. This is the stuff that makes the top producers. Because if you could get this right, all of that stuff will come to you. I promise you. You gotta be clear with who you're not. True story, and I used to deal a lot in the Hispanic industry uh, market, but in the Hispanic community, if you ever deal with buyers, if you uh, help them with a the house and then they refer you to somebody, guess what they'll do? Hey. <laughs> How much are you gonna give me? <laughs> Standard operating procedure. Standard operating procedure. And you know, at the beginning I would do it, and, and, and I started to realize, like, this doesn't sit well with me. Number one, you're not licensed, so that's called illegal. And number two, my service is enough. Like, the way I take care of people, that's enough. That should be a better reward than two or three hundred bucks. I got really clear with who I was not. See that as an example? And so once I got clear with who I was not, then I just put together a little script. So sure enough, when they would start going like this, guess what I would do? I just unrolled my script. And they would say, hey, how much are you gonna give me? What are you gonna hook me up with? And I said, listen, what I'm gonna give you is I'm gonna give you the peace of mind that your family members are gonna be taken care of in the same way that I took care of you. And if that's not okay, please refer them to somebody else. Guess what, all of a sudden, nobody asked me that question anymore. Mm -hmm. If you can't handle that objection there, how are you gonna handle it when a seller wants to overprice the property? How are you gonna handle it when a seller wants to undercut commissions? Because when they overprice the property or when they undercut commissions, guess who they're undercutting? It's not you, it's them. Because you know without a shadow of a doubt that if you price it right, what happens? How many offers do you get? Multiple offers, which means their neck goes up or down. Up, absolutely. You know if you offer a full price commission, how many more agents show the house? More. Which means what? Which means offers go up. 
they're never hurting you or cheating them, uh, you. They're hurting themselves. The problem is we don't have the courage. And where does the courage come from? Standards. Write that down. Standards. Courage comes from standards. See, I got really clear with who I was and very, very clear with who I was not very, very, very early on in my career. And the beautiful thing is so can you. Next one. I think this is number four? Something? I don't know. Five. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a big one. Write this down. Be clear with who your ideal client is. Be very clear with who your ideal client is. I'm going to tell you right now, people. The number one thing that will destroy your goals in this business is the wrong client. The wrong client. Let me show you what mm -hmm. I mean. Okay. No, no, I got you right here. Everybody follow me. Pretend this is a year. This is the year. January to December. How many months? How many days? How many weeks? All right. Follow me? Follow me? There's not, it's 52. <laughs> so within this year, you have a certain amount of time. Time our most valuable resource, time. And so essentially what happens is the way that you sell more houses is to minimize the amount of time that it takes to work with each client. That's why listings are so much better than buyers. Because you will earn per, per hour five times what you earn getting a listing than you do working with a buyer. So that was the first shift for me. My ideal client is a highly motivated seller. At the beginning it was, whoever the hell that's breathing, they're my client. <laughs> but as a result, I had a whoever the hell is breathing kind of business. I worked seven days a week. I did great, but I worked seven days a week. When I said, and I shifted my definition, and I said my ideal client is a highly motivated seller, that changes things. Does it not, yes or no? Because now all of a sudden your brain is like, okay, I'm looking instead of for this, I'm looking for this. This is what I want right here. Right? Number two, since they're highly motivated, they will list their home at a correct price, at a sellable price. Well, wait a minute, Danny. Well, you don't understand all of my sellers. Can I tell you why that happens? Write this down. Someone is always leading. It's either you or the client. We've got to work on your sales skills, people. We've got to work on your presentation skills. It's a must. My brother yesterday on our podcast, which, by the way, it's, it's free. Just go on your podcast app. Go, just go look up Danny Morell. But my brother yesterday on, on the podcast said something that he, he was so spot on. He's a big fan of Kobe Bryant. If you guys don't know, we put on these crazy events. Last year we had Gary Vaynerchuk. This year A-Rod is coming. It's, it's going to be nuts. I think next year I want to get Kobe Bryant. Would you guys come to Kobe Bryant? Yeah, you see, see, I have to get Kobe Bryant, right? So anyways, he was saying that he was giving this example. He was like, okay, like, let's just give this example of Kobe Bryant. Like, my brother, if you guys follow my brother? He's like tall, like he's, he's an athlete. He's a natural. Like, he was beating me at everything at age 11. I couldn't stop him. I just couldn't stop him. He said, but like, even though I'm pretty good, like Kobe Bryant would beat me at a free throw contest because it would take him less shots to make his 10th shot than it would take me. Why? Because he practiced so much. But also because he had tunnel vision and he was clear with what his ideal was. See, that's why we gotta work with your sales skills, guys. That's why we gotta make you stronger in that area, the art of communication. Because the stronger you get at communicating, the stronger you will believe in yourself and the more likely you are to have the audacity to say what 9.5 out of 10 agents will not say in this business I only work with those people. That's when you sell a lot and work a little. I did 150 transactions, 1.5 million in commissions, working four and a half days a week. While I saw people in my same office working seven days a week to close 20 deals. But this is what, but th this is it. It is the eighties when you. But this is it. This is the magic. The stronger you get 
the stronger your belief is, the stronger that your standards become and the clearer you get with who your ideal client is. <coughs> Last but not least, understand that you can't get there alone. Write that down. Understand you can't get there alone. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There, there are a bazillion egos in this industry. And I got to tell you, your broker is not one of them. He's somebody that genuinely, genuinely cares about you. Because literally, I had just shot him a message about you know, this event that we're having. And he goes, yeah, man, I'm in. All it took was for you inviting me. And like right away, I, we've never met. <laughs> never really connected or anything. But I just like that spirit. That was a good heart. You know what I mean? And I just want to let you guys know that you're in a great place. You really, really are. But also, I want you to start sucking the life out of this place and out of each other. You can't get there alone, people. You really, really can't. Something happens when you finally realize that no matter how much you think there's only so much business out there. Something happens when you realize that there's so much business out there for everybody. That you're better off sharing ideas. You're better off collaborating with each other. You're better off helping with each other. You're better off connecting with each other. You're better off pushing each other. You're better off motivating each other. Something happens, guys. It's like a whole nother life. And I'm telling you, because I used to have a hard time with this. I was the guy that would say, get away from the sales board. It's mine. Now I'm the guy that says, everybody, look at the sales board. Come on, together, let's do it. Because if the guy or the girl to my right or the guy or the girl to my left does better, guess what it forces me to do? Oh, my God, if they could do it, I could do it too. It's a whole other world, guys. Understand you can't get there alone. Understand that really, 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 the people around you are very, very, very important. And understand coaching and guidance, like what Paul and the team can <laughs> offer, is critically, critically important to your success. Are we learning something yet so far? Yes? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this, guys. This was three years into my career, I had a coach. And he says, and at the time, I was, I was spinning my wheels, I was working seven days a week, and I just wasn't like, I felt stuck. Anybody else feel stuck? Yeah, okay. I was stuck, I was like, I was like in that 30 deal range, like 30, like 32, 34, but I wanted like more, I wanted like 40 and 60 and 80 and 100, and I'm telling you right now, this what he did, at least for me, absolutely changed my life. He said, Danny, grab a, a blank piece of paper. That's what I'm going to have you do. Gra grab a blank piece of paper, please. Blank piece of paper. He says, Danny, listen, all of humanity lives from the formula that I'm about to explain to you. Literally, they live their life by, these, by this formula, whether they realize it or not. He says, and once we talk about this formula, then I'm going to show you the formula that the wealthy live by. And in this case, you could use the word wealthy, you could use top producers, you could use whatever you want. I'm trying to help you to get from where it is that you are to get unstuck. Okay? Paul, you can help me, please. So this is the formula of the average, and we'll go to the next one, right? Uh, number one, and it'll have you just click one time. Do. Write down the word do. What does do mean? Who can tell me? Action. Like action, right? Like, what, what are you going to do? Right? What are the things that you need to do? Um, who knows exactly what they have to do in order to become the number one agent in this company? Raise your hands. For the most part, we all have an idea. You could even be brand new. Because it's essentially all about talking to a lot of people. Get really, really good at talking to those people. Get really, really good at closing them and asking for a signature. Signing a contract and then doing it over and over again. I mean, for the most part, we all kind of comprehend that, right? The question becomes, why don't we do it? Why, why don't we do it? Why don't we go out there and actually do it? And I'm going to explain it to you right now. The second word, B. Write that down. B. B. What does B mean? That's a powerful word. It's a powerful word. B is like, for a human being, it's like who you are, who, who you're being, uh, um, your, your energy, your, your belief system. It's, it's kind of all-encompassing. And you see how most people, the reason why most people are stuck is because they live through this formula and the formula is simply worked around a little bit backwards. It says, if I can do this, pick up the phones, prospect, hold open houses, 
call my past client. I, I know, you know, the, the things that we all need, right? Then I will be happy, and then I will have, write down have. What it is that I want. And what do we want? Who could tell me? More money. money. What else? More time. time. More freedom. freedom. It's, all the, it's always the same. We all want the same. It's kind of like we're living through life all wanting the same and we're like trying to grab for it. Yes? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why we're reaching but not able to grab is because we're doing it with the wrong formula. Let me, let me reverse this a little bit, okay? Same three words. Watch what happens. Number one, this is the formula of the wealthy. And this is what helped me really break through. Write down B. Remember at the beginning of my story when my kids were in the ice chest? I was being a certain kind of man that caused that situation to happen. I'm going to say that again. Notice the responsibility of it. Mm -hmm. Notice the responsibility of it. Is that a being choice, yes or no? Yes. See, that's, that's, a, that's a being decision. A being decision is accepting responsibility versus pushing it off to other people. I had a conversation this week, literally this week, with, with somebody from our company who sometimes when we're pushed up against the wall, what do we do? How do we react? We victimize and deflect and blame. Mm -hmm. And I had to come at him hard. I had to come at him hard. You I said, you're just, what's that? You have to be honest with You have to. I said, listen to me. You can blame whoever you want. But you will not grow until you start from the beginning and accept 100% responsibility for where you are. You see, I had to, I had to do that. I had to look at, look at my kids in the Aishas and I had to go, hold on, hold on. It ain't their fault. It ain't the government's fault. It ain't the president's fault. It's nobody's fault. Guess whose fault it is? It's mine. It wasn't even the damn economy's fault. Because there's a lot of people that got rich in the midst of the economy crashing. It was the decisions that I made and it was the things that I did. Was that a being choice, yes or no? Yes, absolutely it was. When I was overweight, was that a being choice, yes or no? Yes, it was. I could blame whoever I want, but ultimately that was a being choice. Under the word be, I want you to write down a word that will help you to understand how this relates to you selling a lot of houses or growing your business. Write down the word beliefs, belief system. Belief system. I hate to bring this up, but it's the best example that kind of pops up to mind. You ever been around someone that you love that unfortunately um, is, is drinking themselves or using drugs in, in a bad way? We all have somebody like that in our lives. Yes or no? Raise your hands, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a belief system in there. Yes or no? There's something wrong. There's a belief system in that person that says, man, I don't love myself enough and I don't feel good and I have a void in my heart and the only way to fill that is through alcohol or through drugs. That's how that happens. Hate to bring this up, but you ever been around an abusive relationship? And some of us may have even been there or are in one or are getting out of it. Like I hate hearing this, but men that hit women. There's two really nasty belief systems that somehow collided and came together. That's the most disgusting thing to me. But why doesn't it get fixed? It doesn't get fixed because on one end, the woman has a certain belief system about her own values. And so there is no personal power. There is no personal strength. There is nothing that says, no, 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 you're not going to do that to me. On the other end, you have a man who has, I'm sorry, a little bitch assness going on is what they have going on. Because <laughs> anybody that hits a woman, that's exactly what they are. You have a man that is so insecure, so inferior in his own mind to the world that the only place that he possesses power is by abusing of someone that is weaker than him. Are these examples of belief systems, yes or no? Mm -hmm. See, this is deep, people. This is deep. This is why I told you priority number one is what? Work on your inner world. Because do we have belief systems in business, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Damn it, we do. Hell yeah, we do. 
And if we don't work on them, guess what happens? You could show up every single day. I love you. I don't know you, but I love you. I have a deep passion for people, so I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. You could show up every single day for the next 10 years of your life. Work your ass off. But if the belief system is not there, guess what? You ain't going to go nowhere. The belief system is the being choice. The belief system is the thing that drives everything. It's the thing that drives what you do. It's the thing that drives how you do it. It's the thing that drives how often you do it. That comes first. That comes first. I would have never lost weight if I didn't say to myself, no matter, I'm living to be 100. I am a healthy human being. I would have never had gone to $980 million in sales if I didn't start telling myself, money flows through me easily and effortlessly. These are belief systems that you've got to work on. The second word, number two, write down do. 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 See, now follow me here for a second. Follow me, guys. If you have the right belief system, then correct me if I'm wrong, but then that will cause you to naturally do what? Do what the belief system says. Mm -hmm. So how many of us have a hard time finding leads? Or how many have a, of us have a hard time prospecting? Or how many of us have a hard time hosting open houses? Or how many of us have a hard time investing in our business? Or how many of us have a hard time spending marketing? Or how many of us have a hard time getting a headshot? Realtors, for crying out loud, get a better headshot. It's only a hundred bucks or whatever it is. But why don't we? Because our belief system is jacked up. The belief system drives the do. And what is the do? Write down the actions. The actions. The actions. The belief system is the mindset. The actions are the sales. Without the right belief system, the sales don't come. Or they'll come, but just enough to get you by. Mm -hmm. And then last, number three, have. Have. See how this works now? Yeah. Have. What do you want to have? I don't care what it is. But you gotta tap into what you really can have. You gotta tap into the fact that, guys, you're in real estate. If you wanna make a million bucks a year, we can show you how to do that. If you wanna make two million bucks a year, we can show you how to do that. There's no reason to be stuck. There's no reason to be stuck. In this formula, what is have? Have is wealth. <coughs> and I'm talking about wealth in money terms, in time, in freedom with your family, living your life on your terms, having your cake and eating it too. I'm bringing this up, guys, because who, by a raise of hands, can say, okay, yeah, like, I'm getting it, like, there's some stuff I need to work on. Yeah, raise your hand. Okay, cool. We all do, because we're all on a journey. And here's the beautiful thing is that you have an entrepreneurial spirit and that's what got you in this business as it is. All I'm saying is something else is needed to be unlocked in order to take you to the next level. So last year, I had this crazy idea. I do this stuff all the time for our company. I thought to myself, like, I wanna start doing it for everybody. I love what I do. We help people like grow their businesses. I wanna start helping everybody do this. So I, I, I had the audacity to think to myself, who's, who's the biggest guy on social media right now that I could go out and get to come and, and do an event. And if you click, uh, oh no, that's my story, hold on. That's how it ended. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's my kids now. A little bit better than ice chest, yeah? <laughs> Just, a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, that uh, piece of land, we bought it four years ago. I walked up to the guy, I didn't have all the money. We bought it four years ago. He wanted 200 something thousand. It's a little over an acre. And I said, I'll tell you what, this is how strong my belief system was and how strong your belief system can and will become. I said, you want 220, here's $40,000. And I'll make you a deal and I'll put it in writing. If I don't pay off the remaining one whatever, 60 or 80 or whatever, by the end of the year, you can keep my 40 grand. Because I didn't have a capacity to finance. That's why whenever you ask the question, how do you get seller financing? There's always a way. Money's not the issue. Money never will be the issue. This is the issue. And 
this age. And so we built our home, and now our kids enjoy a little bit better than a uh, than an ice chest. So there was a happy ending, and there's going to be a happy ending, obviously, for you. And I want to help you with that. Go to the next screen. So this was Gary Vaynerchuk. Did you guys see this last year? Did you guys hear about this last year? No? Because it's all over Facebook. We're advertising everywhere. So last year, we had 1,000 people at the Pacific Palms. We brought Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, people flew in from all over the country to attend a one-day event where, um, if you ask anybody that event, we, we absolutely rocked their world. We show, I mean, we, people walked away from that event and literally doubled and tripled their sales, uh, started making more money, started losing more. I mean, the, the whole thing. It, it was just an incredible experience. And so this year I thought, like, I'm going to take it to the next level. And so we're having a three-day event. And Paul wanted me to come out and invite you guys to it. So if you could write this down, I'm going to give you the details to it real fast. Okay? And actually, I'm going to hand these up. Oh, you can help me here. There's like one or whatever. So um, the first guy we're bringing and the first guest that we're bringing to the event uh, is a guy by the name of Gerard Adams. Right? I want you to write the name down, Gerard Adams. And um, Gerard is really cool because how many of you guys are at least a little bit worried about this internet social media thing and how it could affect our business? Yeah, so I'm bringing Gerard specifically uh, to help us on day one. He's a master, master, master in the art of marketing online and developing your personal brand, your personal brand, okay? Gerard built and sold a technology company by the time he was 30 years old, and he sold it for 50 million bucks. 50 million bucks, okay? If you go to Instagram right now and check him out, you can go check him out on podcast. He absolutely kills it. He absolutely does an incredible job, and he's a genius at personal brand. So the session that he's going to talk about, and he's not going to sell you anything. He's literally coming just to help you develop your personal brand so that instead of having to work so hard, your brand will pull in the business and pull in the clients for you, okay? And I think we could all agree that we all need a little bit more of that. The second one, Paul, if you could please help me out, that'd be great, is Sarah Centrella. Has anybody ever heard of the book, uh, um, Hustle, Believe, and Receive? She wrote the book. Uh, Sarah Centrella has a great, great, great story. One day she came home and found out her husband was cheating on her. She didn't think twice, she kicked him out, and then she realized, Oh my God, he's the one that makes all the money. <laughs> and so her, her story is, her book is all about how she went from that to now she's a best-selling author. Uh, and she's going to talk about the power of not only dream boards, but using the power of your imagination and your mind to envision the life that you want, the business that you want, and how to actually achieve it. Okay? Uh, you, the next one? you guys know who that is? Oh, yeah. Ed Milet? Okay, if you follow podcasting at all, right now, uh, Ed is, is fast becoming one of the fastest growing podcasters um, around on social media. Uh, he has a net worth of over 250 million bucks. Um, he is absolutely one of the best speakers on planet Earth. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you're gonna go find out who he is and then you're gonna go, oh damn, and then you're, it's gonna make you wanna go because he's literally that good. Um, and then if you can click one more, you guys know who that is? So Andy Frisella, okay, everybody you need to write down this word podcasts. And you start hearing a little bit more of them because in the podcast world, Andy Frisella has I think one of the top five podcasts in the business category. Uh, he started from scratch his business. He literally was shot in the face or stabbed in the face, which is where you see the scar, uh, as a young kid defending a, a girlfriend of his. And um, he built a multi-hundred million dollar uh, supplement company called First Form. Uh, they sell supplements. He does an incredible job. And he's probably one of the hottest people on Instagram or social media uh, right now. And then you guys know, you guys have to know this. <laughs> okay, so then you have A-Rod. And I'm going to tell you why I brought A-Rod. Because day two, day one is about mind and about belief systems. Day two is about do. We're going to get your belief system right, and then we're going to show you what to do to get business. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook Messenger and technology to not replace, but to enhance your methods of prospecting and generating leads. And day three is all about wealth. Because I'm a big believer, guys. 
if you're going to start making a lot of money, you need to know what to do with your money to ensure that your, your family is wealthy. Right? And so we're going to take you through our commission structure plan, what to do with the income once it comes in, what accounts to open, like the whole, whole thing, the whole thing, um, how to buy an invest in, uh, investment real estate. And on the third day, I thought there's not too many people I can find who are more adequate to speak about wealth than a guy who signed a $250 million contract. If you don't know, A-Rod owns and or manages over 55,000 units uh, nationwide. So he's going to be joining us on the Wealth Day. Um, and then there's little old me. You guys, you guys kind of see what I do and how I do it. So that's our event, guys. The name of the event is called Relentless. Now, if you can look, what I did here, guys, if you can look at your sheet, just so you know what the event cost me. It cost me $250 per seat. Cost me. I'm selling these tickets until tomorrow for $99. Do you know why I'm doing this? Because I am a hater of only one thing, and that's people's limiting beliefs. And I know that the only reason why you would not invest $99 in three days, heck, even if it's $99 for a half a day to see that lineup, is because of some sick limiting belief that you have in your head. And I would let you go for free, but then that wouldn't be good for you, so that's why there's 99 bucks. Preferred seating is 249, and VIP is 599, okay? The absolute pimp daddy one is platinum <laughs> VIP. <laughs> platinum VIP is the first two rows, and you get to meet all of the people and um, all of the speakers in the meet and greet, and you get to go to the, um, uh, to the uh, uh, cocktail party that we have with everybody. Um, so it's a three-day event. It's going to be absolutely incredible. If you write down your information and get it done, we will process it today. We will send you confirmations today. The event is July 11th through the 13th in Anaheim, California. And um, we're going to spend three full days on fixing and enhancing your business. And if you do not double or triple your, well, that's, that's important. You're going to grow your business. You're going to grow your mind just by having there, okay? Do we have any questions about anything, please? Anything that I covered, anything that I spoke about? Anything that I can help you with? Yeah. What time does the event start every single day? Um, and what starts in the beginning of the day? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. So um, I'm a big believer in that the way you feel physically is the way you will produce. There's a big connection. So one of the things that I believe in is that every morning of one of our events, every morning we have a workout. So if you, if you follow me on social media, you'll see at the last event we had in San Diego, we had like 250 people at 5 in the morning working out. I don't care who you are, just to experience that, it's beautiful. All these professionals that are just inspired and motivated in the dark. We didn't even know where the hell we were going. We were just like going somewhere, like just full of energy, man. And, uh, and this year, are we live right now? Yeah. Oh, no one knows this, literally. But just as we were pulling into the garage, there's a young lady on Instagram called Hardcore Ainsley. Her name is Ainsley Rodriguez. <laughs> She has close to 2 million followers on Instagram. We just signed her. She will be the official trainer of the event. So it, it, it's, it, the event just keeps getting better, better, and better, and better, and better. So that's what we do. And then typically we start at about 9 o'clock, and then we end right about 5 o'clock for three days. Good question. Um, Please. Yes. So make sure. <coughs> yes. $99 Those are your entrance. Yes. The three-day entrance to the event, yes. Well, everything from morning to Everything from morning of the first day to <laughs> evening of the last day, yes. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's the price. Yes, yes. So you know what I would do? I would buy like four. Okay. Honest to God. Because mm -hmm. you know how you're going to get better? You need to get better the people that surround you in your life, too. I bring my spouse, I bring my freaking kids, I bring my grandmother, I wheelchair them in. I would do anything. <laughs> no, I really would. No, I, 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 leg I legitimately would. Because it's one thing for you to get like ready and pumped up, but at the end of those three days, I'm telling you, your life will change. But then you walk into a negative environment, and guess what happens? <laughs> so that's what I would do. But that's just me. Anybody else? Questions? Yes? Can I uh, fill this out and email it tomorrow? Or you sure can. Or you can even go to relentlessevent.com. It's just the prices are going to change tomorrow. 
I've been running that special and the prices are going to change. Well, I can do it today, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Welcome. Yeah, just email it over. Yeah. Any questions? Yes. You gave us quite a bit of good info. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. But until June, do you have any books? Do you have any podcasts? Do you have anything that we can listen to or, yeah. or continue on your thoughts? So here's what I would do, especially if you're committed to growth. Honest to God, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I put out an enormous amount of good content on a daily basis. I actually just opened an Instagram in Spanish. So for those of you guys that have Spanish-speaking people in your, in your network and in your family that that you want to help them just see bigger, is Danny, Mor Danny Morel uh, Español, <clears throat> so you just look it up on Instagram. But my podcast, uh, go to my podcast and go to my YouTube channel and just look up Danny Morel on your favorite podcast app. You'll find me there. And then finally, uh, my book, uh, the title of the book is called The Resilience Roadmap. You can get it on Audible or on Amazon just by typing in my name, Danny Morel. Sound good? Yeah. Hey, I, I, thank you for having me, guys. I, I really, really love you guys. If you're not pumped, you guys, I don't know, I don't know what's going to do it for you, right? So listen, um, I appreciate everybody participating. I'll tell you what, Rob, if you're okay with it, um, for those of you that fill it out today, especially we're a part of our organization, I'm going to raffle off two of those, okay? Ooh. So we'll give two of those away for two agents, okay? If you guys fill them out today, get you yourself ready. Right? Yeah, anytime, anytime there's money involved or we're spending money, Robert, Robert starts to panic. <laughs> Right. Everybody needs one of those. We got okay. one of those. So, so I'll tell you what. Fill them out today. Hand them over to Nida at the front desk. All right, and then we'll raffle those off. And at the end of the day, tonight we'll let you know who won. Okay? Well, how about so, we do this? Cause I'm gonna take them with me. Cool. So if you want, let's do it now, and we'll raffle it now. Okay, perfect. So why don't we do that right now? Why don't you guys take two minutes, and then we'll call it a day? But let's give Danny one more round of applause. Yeah.